Some of the world's top scientists, experts and professionals convened at the Arabian Gulf University to kick-start the 7th Annual International Scientific Conference of Her Royal Highness Princess Al Jauhara Center. Year after year, the conference, the only of its kind in the region, strives to provide an overview of developments in molecular medicine, genetics, therapeutics and other fields, bringing together a mix of academic, industry and public sector experts in an intimate setting that favors the showcase of data, the exchange of ideas and networking. Patronized by the Minister of Health, Dr. Faisal bin Yaqub al Hamar, this year's conference is set to work under the theme New Developments in Molecular Medicine. With the past few years being an exciting ordeal for molecular biology and medicine, owing to the various discoveries and the implications of such achievements in diagnostic and therapeutic tools, Dr. Al Hamar expressed pride to be amongst an audience of thinkers and emphasized on the importance of collaboration between such institutions and the Ministry of Health. Um, there are, as I said, there are sickle cell anemia here in Bahrain and a few thalassemia, but the only way out of, it, uh, out of it is not just giving the medicine, but it has to be researched in order to, to give the appropriate medicine and appropriate care to the patients in order, in order to improve their lifestyle. This year's conference coincides with the opening of the Al Jauhara Center for Molecular Medicine, Genetics and Inherited Diseases at the Arabian Gulf University in Manama. A medical breakthrough made possible by the generous donations of Her Highness Princess Al Jauhara bint Ibrahim of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, owing to the vision foreseen by the university and a source of pride to the institution. Uh, out of research happening here in Bahrain and in the Arabian Gulf University, really it, it gives me a pleasure and really I'm proud to, to have such a, a result that we now can say that we will contribute in changing the quality of the life of people through this discovery. Working under the slogan, creativity is a must, and where there is a will, there is a way, the 7th International Conference of the Al Jauhara Center seemed determined to showcase the achievements made by the university in the research field, including over 37 publications, the winning of two awards in the recent International Student Research Scientific Conference, and graduating its first PhD student last March. During the opening ceremony, conference chairman and director of the Al Jauhara Center, Professor Muaz Khait, discussed his recent findings that might revolutionize therapeutic means in immunocompromised patients, such as those with AIDS and recent transplants. It will give knowledge to participants. It will open uh, channels for collaboration and uh, sharing research ideas and research projects exchange of students and uh, will put us in frontline position internationally. With an integrated scientific program due to discuss the fruits of over 20 international publications and studies, lectures, workshops and poster presentations, the 7th International Scientific Conference of Al Jauhara Center will certainly live up to its predecessors with regards to academic excellence and achievement. This gathering, the 7th International Scientific Conference for Her Royal Highness Princess Al Jauhara Center, brings together experts, scientists and lab and industry professionals under the name of Development in Molecular Medicine, Genetics and Therapeutic Tools. A cohort of expertise uniting under the umbrella of exchange in the name of advancements in medicine. Reporting for Bahrain Television, this is Mohammed Shaban.